What up, Sauce Gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats here with a massive reaction for you because Mr. Beast just dropped what looks like to be an absolute certified banger. And I'm talking about I survived seven days in an abandoned city. I'm ready to go on this adventure with Mr. Beast. I hope you guys are too. But before we do, can you show Jimmy, aka Mr. Beast, some love by subscribing to his channel and fam? We're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Woo -hoo. Hold up. What up, Jimmy? What you we got, bro? We just got dropped off in the middle of an abandoned city, and we're gonna spend the next seven days here. And there goes Where's the abandoned. Where is an abandoned city at? Seven doing this for content this once beautiful city was bombed and abandoned because of war which means the only people here are us and our cameramen at least that we know of so i guess we start off by getting <laughs> up the road. but we knew that our first objective was to explore this city and find a safe place to call home for the next seven days which starts yeah, with exploring this building all right let's see what's down the bottom of the building i assume under this wood is a floor only one way to find out. All right. Whoa. Is that Mark, Mark Rovers with him? I feel like I'm in a zombie apocalypse. This is wild. Right? Oh, Wasn't that Mark Rovers? And after a little more exploring, we stumbled across an area that might work for our shelter. Oh, oh that is Mark Rover. I think this is where we should set up camp. You can see the entire city over here. Plus, we have a roof to protect us from rain. Wow. And now that we had our home base decided, the know, next step was to open up the supply crate left by the helicopter on the roof. Let's pop open this crate so we can build Here's camp. Chat. We need some gear. Oh, whoa. Oh. This crate contains all the survival gear we'll need for the next seven days. And so we don't have to carry stuff all the way down the stairs. We're just gonna drop it. Oh. <laughs> Chandler! <laughs> we have a perfect assembly line. Chris, it's raining too. Beautiful, look at teamwork make the dream work, baby. <laughs> Chandler, there's our dinner plate. Wait, Chandler, don't let it fall. Chandler! Yeah! That was the coolest thing. Tom Pamers overrated. But nice Jokes catch. aside, it was time to actually nice. start surviving now. Nice. Who wants fire duty? We'll get it. We're on bed duty. Chris got started on making a fire with Mark. I'm personally a fan of the log cabin when it comes to fires. Eagle Scout. Did I mention that yet? No big deal. Well, me and Chandler looked no for something deal. to sleep on. This is what mattresses were like 100 years ago? Wait, you found a mattress? Oh. Yeah. Where? On the second floor in the corner. <laughs> uh, That's all you. Thanks. You should wrap that thing in a tarp nope. so you don't get destroyed by bugs. I'm gonna wrap that mattress like a burrito. And while Chandler took his chances with this sketchy mattress, the rest That's of us actually a good idea. on wooden doors. There's no shot that you're more comfortable than me right now. Oh, uh, my back right here. <laughs> there are so many buildings we have yet to dude. explore in this city. Tomorrow's gonna be insane. We'll see you in the morning. Even though our first day in the city went pretty smooth, something eerie did happen to occur later that night. While we were sleeping, Mark and some of the camera guys woke up to the sound of breaking glass not far from the camp. Which made us start to wonder if we were really alone inside this city. What was it? I thought I saw something. But on top of the freaky noises, this shelter was way too windy to sleep. How'd you guys sleep? Bad. So in pursuit of better sleep, <laughs> we got up, got breakfast, and got prepared to find our new shelter. I mean, this is the first time I've had chili for breakfast, but I'm so hungry, I kind of don't care. As well, since the raft. When have I ever been this excited over canned chili? I think my brain tried to forget about that. Thanks. So after a nutritious breakfast, we took off our drone to seek out a new shelter in the unexplored buildings. We haven't explored that Ooh, building. That's a good idea, too. You can do all, it is all the traveling you need to with the drone. However, upon scanning the buildings, we did stumble upon an unexpected guest. There's a cat. There's a cat. Down there. I'm gonna land the drone right beside the cat. Oh, here comes the oh, 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 look at that shot. Oh, yeah. Chris, Chris, look. Oh, it's sniffing the camera. This cat has like no survival instinct. I promise we are not paying this cat to be an actor. As fun as playing with <laughs> this these cat cats is, is not an we actor. Need to focus on shelter because it's gonna be freezing tonight. And so we started our journey to find a sufficient shelter for the challenge. Ooh. Wait, what is this? Whoa. This is Whoa. pretty. It just has this type of like aesthetic to it that is like beautiful even though it's ugly. Zombie apocalypse aesthetic. Yeah, there you go. Definitely a zombie Whoa. apocalypse Whoa. aesthetic, dude. Wow. What the heck? This is so eerie. Back in the day, this used to look something like this. And after decades of rotting from being abandoned, this is what we're left with. Wait, wow. there's a soccer field? The sport court. Oh. Is that a soccer ball? 
That was dope. Oh, nice I shot. Bet this soccer ball is older than me. Me, older than all of us for sure. Well, Heavy besides metal. Mark, <laughs> he's old. Some of the, you have two options now. Some of the you graffiti, can keep dude. Keep exploring down this cool looking tunnel and go check out the neighborhood. Or, with the hour of light we have left, we can prep for nighttime and not freeze all night. Not freeze. That sounds like a good idea. I agree. And after spending the entire day looking for a new shelter, I just can't get over how massive the city is. We finally found a place fortified enough to call home. So we don't freeze tonight. We're thinking of setting up camp in this room right here. We'll have a fire pit right here. We can tarp the wall right there. It's going to be comfy. Yeah, Mark's going to do Beautiful. all that. I said we. <laughs> the only hard part is come over here. Our current yeah. camp and all our gear is all the way over there. I hope oh, this wow. place really works out because it's going to be a lot of effort to set up. With the sun getting low and the temperature rapidly dropping, we made our way back to the old camping spot and oh, packed dude, up dude. You got to grab that mattress. We're yes, the comfy camp The new campsite. The new camp. The new camp. Okay, we got a lot of cleanup to do to prep this for tonight. This looks like a terrible place, but whatever. And after finding a more <laughs> weatherproof base, we spent the next few hours dragging in as many of our belongings as we could before sundown. He's got the mattress. Chandler, you, you do it. You do you. And because it got dark so fast, we couldn't bring all of our resources to the new base. So aside from one water bag, cans of chili, and a couple old mattresses, this is all we had. What does everyone think of our new oh, They got place? three mattresses like now. No it's much warmer. Chandler? What? It was now the third day huh? of seven doing What'd this you challenge. And once we got are up, you talking we to continued me, Jimmy? exploring. Huh? Be careful. These stairs are actually steep. On this whole staircase, three of the stairs are normal. <laughs> this beach is nice. It actually smells like the beach. Because it is a beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not too far in, something strange happened. Can you guys see someone? What? Or don't you see that reflecting thing over there under the stairs? Oh, I do. Jimmy, remember mm -hmm. how we almost died the first night from glass bottle attack? I wonder if that's where the glass bottles came from. It was in this moment we realized we actually weren't alone in this abandoned city after all. And once our cameraman spotted this mysterious person on our drone, we did what anyone else would do. Let's go check it out. Investigation. That building is sick. Why is this mansion beside this giant motel? Decades ago, this hotel stood as a first class vacation resort. But years of war turned this once picturesque property into a city of ruins. Let's Dude, head on crazy. in. What did we just get ourselves into? What, are, what was it, totally World War II? wait for the cameraman to walk in the room before we go in. Anyways. Oh, it's getting dark. Everyone stop, stop. Candy. We should go in there. <laughs> free. Okay, we should say you. free. You think it's a Feastables bar? What the heck? This is starting to get very eerie. And I think Mark should go first. What? <laughs> Look at how deep this hallway is. Also, if you follow over here, Joker MVP. You might die. There's a very <laughs> They're basketball fans. Somebody could be in here. The Joker attack us. If someone attacked us, what do we do? It. Every man for himself. Yeah. Whoever's the slowest just dies. Whoa! What's that light? <gasps> Hello. I'm creeped out now, guys. We spent the rest of the day searching for the lurker. But once it started getting dark, we could only hope that later he wouldn't be looking for us. And now that it's dark out, here's what we've actually been waiting for. Through that. Give me Big Bertha. Fireworks. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Big Bertha. Notice how you can't see that building over there. This is the world's most powerful flashlight. Whoa. Now you can. Bro, I bet the fish in the ocean are tripping. <laughs> That's actually oh, low-key crazy. It's not working. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> the pluses of our actions is we got to play with the world's strongest flashlight at night. The negatives of our actions is now we got to walk back in the dark. <laughs> that was bad timing. It's way scarier going through this place at night. Yeah, it is. thousand percent. This it's is, this is like super, I would love to go here. Just like surviving. This is like uh, some like being murdered old in style Sam blood. and Colby videos, we abandoned. Camp. We're back at camp. Yes. I'll get a fire going. I'm hungry. There's literally only chili left. And so with the last of our supplies, I, mean, I love chili. We're feasting. Tomorrow, if we got some tables and seven chairs. And more food. That'd be awesome. But when we woke up on the morning of day four out of seven, we realized that we were already running low on supplies. Our bag of water is out of water. Do we have more? Point oh, the no. camera at that roof. All the way over there. I wish I had more than 100 calories in my body to go get it. Nose goes. What does nose goes mean? Sounds like you're going. He's gonna need help. He can't carry it on his own. So Mark and Chandler set out to go all the way back to our original camping <laughs> spot and get nose more goes. supplies from the crate. Chandler, I run a side quest for water. This is a main quest. While they get the water, we don't want to be useless. We, I, I'm fine. I don't want us to be useless. So we're gonna go try to find a table and some chairs. But we didn't get very far before Chris got distracted. Did we not know this was here? Jimmy! Yeah? I found a bike! That looks like a nice bike. Which 
Where'd you find that? In here. This is the coolest abandoned city ever. Having fun? I am. All right. And it works. I'm go look for a table. OK, let's go. How are we going to get the water out of this? Oh, it's heavy. The thought process is that this is a house. Okay. And what do people have in their house? Tables and chairs. Exactly. Wait, hold up. Beautiful. Look at this. Don't move. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a chair. <laughs> and a table. Mark Strong. Uh, a little help here, Chan. This bag of water is over 100 pounds. And so my buddy Mark, being the science YouTuber that he is, had an idea to get it down from the roof more effectively. But... We need stronger rope. What you're watching is real. Mark literally deleted half of our water. We got some bad news. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> Bring oh, the water. We all the water splattered on the ground. This was actually a very serious problem. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? More! Sorry. Don't worry, dude. We got one bag of water left. Carry this one down, please. And now that half the of the water is actually gone, the only possible way to complete this seven-day challenge would unfortunately be to send two of us home. So Chris and Chandler volunteered to leave the city, leaving Mark and I with just enough resources to make it the full seven wow. days. Peace Genuinely, out. I would Those be sevens. scared if we left Jimmy with anybody other than you. I think Aww, you got it. You guys. But before they left, we wanted to have one final feast with the whole gang. Now that fiesta. Oh my smoke. gosh. Mm. My hair. <laughs> Yummy. Great melting point on the chocolate, Jimmy, if I may. If you've tried Feastables before, the ones that used to look like this, you haven't tried Feastables. Our brand new formula tastes so much better. Genuinely, go to Walmart, try Feastables, and tell me what Let's you think. Go, it's dude. honestly way better than the old formula, but don't take my word for it. What, 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 what a way to plug your stuff, yeah. doing a, do, making s'mores. <laughs> Well, I just had s'mores, so I can go to the boat now. And so we launched a flare to signal the boat, which was actually pretty cool. Bro, look how cool that looks. Wait, it's lighting up the entire city. Oh, wow. That's but the actually cool pretty part dope, is now dude. that Chris and Chandler are gone, and now, it's just now Mark and I surviving knows. in this city. I feel so lonely. The lurker. It's the first day without our friends, but we're going to make the best of the situation. Our objective for today is to upgrade our shelter. We're going to put up tarps and windproof this room. We're going to build a fireplace in here and heat it up. We're going to find shelves and tables. We're going to make gonna this build a fireplace, place like huh? a With some of the ideas we have planned, I might stick around till day 14. He's lying. And so we started exploring <laughs> some nearby Gavin buildings Yuck, to find Appa. furnishing for our shelter, which is when we found this awesome shelf, this little table, a massive carpet, and also this metal thing that was found by our camera guy. Whoa, look at this chair. That works still, man. Bro, that's comf. <laughs> I found a fake TV. We can make it look yes. like we have a TV now. It's a good find. Do wow, it. Oh, that's in front just of the fireplace. So cool. It's like courtyard with the arches. Each building in the city has like its own personality. That's what I do, what dude. can we do with these? Just put we that use, TV like, right in front of the like fire. This. Combined with these, we can make a fireplace. Wow, I'm like actual wallpaper. We have wallpaper. What do we use it for? To make the house a home, Jimmy. This is like we went grocery shopping. Home but it's where the heart is. A bunch of 30 year old garbage. Jimmy. Honey, we're home. We found all this stuff now we're gonna start decorating we're no longer surviving jimmy we're thriving i like that we literally Way spent the next thriver. four hours moving all of the rubble out of our shelter which made us pretty thirsty the water in these sacks tastes like trash which is why we all brought a circle water bottle because you can put a flavor cartridge in it and make water taste good this is my first time drinking a circle bottle Here's it's a ad. delightful experience you Way can determine the, the intensity so if you're feeling really audacious you can have level nine flavor or if you're just a wuss you can have level one flavor but try a six six i'll match your six that tastes awesome mm. which flavor are you using i'm rocking fruit punch because it's got energy and you know what we need right now jimmy energy that's right good thing circle has our back and now that we had been hydrated it was time to start crushing these renovations when everything's said and done this room will be the greatest room in an abandoned Emma. city you've ever seen <laughs> it's our the new greatest show. room ever oh, see how she looks see that see all that dust Oh, isn't that satisfying? And now that the shelf is clean, we can use it to store food. For some reason, over half the food we packed is chili. And no one here likes chili. That's the non-chili oh, row. Oh, that That's hurts. I love row. chili, this Jimmy. This I'm a chili right fan. There. Now we have a table to put our circle water bottles. Mark has a 22 ounce bottle. This is the 32 ounce bottle. And they have a metal double insulated bottle that you could get for free right now if you buy 10 uh, flavor free? cards. What a steal. No, it's not a steal. It's free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's gonna block a lot of wind. And with our new door in place, we also hung up this huge tarp, which will allow us to keep all the heat from the fireplace inside our shelf. Oh, look at this, dude. In. 
fire burns, sends heat in the room, sends smoke out. This is redneck engineering at its finest. And finally, after being cold for so long. All right. Look at that. And we have a fire. I can feel the heat coming out. We chewing rigged this up with like ruins from an abandoned city. Anyway, go to drinkcircle.com slash Mr. Beast. Or scan the QR code. It's going to melt that tarp, but no big deal. Right now. This is the final room. We have plenty in the corner. We have our beds that are it now small. It looks good. Low key, that looks genius. good. This is Mark's iPad in the TV frame. Obviously, <laughs> some nice lighting. A furnace that is heating up the room. A real table with chairs and a shelving unit with the scraps of food we have left. And a dirty wow. towel we've been sharing. This is survival. But just as our night was going so well, uh -oh. for the fifth day in a row, we heard broken glass. Mark, I'm right here, dog. What was that? Man, we are having such a good day, too. I want to go see who's upstairs. I'm carrying the knife as a threat, but I'm not going to use it. <laughs> hey, if you're up here, just come out. I want to be best friends with you. Are you serious you're not pranking me? Bro, I swear to you, it was not me. Hello? What is this? What? Oh my gosh. This is the most Mark Rover thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what the heck? You swore! So it turns out Mark was pranking us, and he was the one dropping bottles this whole time. I've got a remote control here, but no one suspects it. I can put in my sleeping bag, and I can start launching glass bottles from the roof, freak everyone out. Oh my gosh. I thought I could trust you. Boom. Now that Mark's not pranking me, we re-rigged his contraption. Feast rolls me. Here you go. <laughs> I'll take one. Dude, come on, I Jimmy! Well. Jimmy! Kind of cool. And Mark Rober need to, <laughs> to start honest, a channel together. It's pretty easy to forgive Mark because they'd be the best dynamic duo in the, in the world, let alone YouTube. Good morning, Abandoned City! Abandoned City! Abandoned City! It's so much Abandoned colder City. out here than it is in there. Abandoned City! Let's go back! It's now the morning of day six. All the modifications we did were phenomenal. And it was at least 10 degrees warmer. That was amazing. We slept incredible. Mark, on our last so real good. day, I say we go have some fun. Yeah! Duking! Jimmy, is that a kayak? I know what we should do with it. Now someone can kayak in this pool. Me and Mark really did have a lot of fun. We played baseball, Ooh. we played soccer. Mark even taught me how to skip rocks, scientifically. There it is. And even screaming at each other from different I mean, sides of the city. Who doesn't love some science when you're skipping rocks? Let's Sometimes you just need some science in your life, chat. Great idea! To be honest, doing all these kind of dumb things really did take our minds off of how lonely the city really yeah. was. <laughs> you gotta imagine time, whatever the lurkers the there, just like, what After cleaning up camp, we only had bro. one objective in mind. Leaving this place and never coming back. Dude, this was Here's crazy, dude. Mark. He didn't have to do this. He has his own channel. He's very busy. Here's his channel. I appreciate you. And let's get out of let's here. Let's go. By the way, I'm giving away $10,000 a day every day for the next 15 days to random people who buy our new Feastables bar. Go buy the new formula. It tastes amazing. Mr. Beast, oh, Mr. Mr. Beast, dibby dibby dibby, zippy dibby 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 dibby. Chat, holy cow, that might be one of Mr. Beast's craziest videos yet. I absolutely love this. I, who wants to go to an abandoned city? I'm ready. Jimmy, if you ever want to take another YouTuber, I'm just, you know, I ain't got no 30 million, but I got a couple, you know, we, we can hang out, dude. I'll, 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 I'll help you make content. No, seriously, all realness, this was absolutely insane. I love when they do these, you know, 50 hour, seven day challenges. I still think the raft still might be my favorite, but this is up there. I absolutely love this. And this makes me want to start checking out some of Sam and Colby's old uh abandoned videos because that's just what this kind of was like dude i had an absolute blast let me know in the comments what you guys think make sure you show jimmy aka mr b some love by subscribing to his channel fam we're trying to get to a quarter million subs so if you haven't yet please smash that subscribe button and join the sauce gang family enjoy the rest of your weekend and remember it's easy sleep and make beats and as usual we kind of want to know that's all i got boom i'm out <laughs> got my love for the sauce gang peace out chat